version 175 of AutoWork Online features several improvements to the fleet and warranty account features. It now allows fleet owners and warranty provider accounts to be flagged. This reduces incidents where customers are set to incorrect fleet accounts. The main document screen has also been enhanced so details for fleet and warranty accounts can be viewed at a glance. And the invoices raised for any warranty jobs will automatically be split between the customer and the warranty provider. It's now possible to flag a customer as a fleet account owner. To do this, first click the database menu and then select the option for customer. Look up the customer you'd like to make the fleet account owner or create a new one if required. Check the fleet owner checkbox to make this customer a fleet owner. Click the update button to save the changes. Now look up the customer you'd like to add to the fleet. The fleet account can be selected from the Select Fleet drop down menu. This reduces errors as only accounts flagged as a fleet owner can be selected. Again, click the Update button to save the changes. If we return to the Document tab, we can see how the fleet information is displayed here. Look up the customer we added to the fleet. The fleet membership status will display and can be clicked for more information. Various pieces of information are shown in the fleet details screen and these can be edited. Warranty providers can also be flagged in a similar way to fleet owners. Do this by checking the warranty provider checkbox. The document tab also displays more information about warranty. Clicking the warranty link against a customer will allow you to flag that document as warranty claim. You can select the relevant warranty provider account from the drop down menu. There's also a feature to set a claim authorization status. Click the update job button to save the changes. When you're happy with the job, click the invoice button. Clicking the cancel button will continue with the invoice as normal, but clicking OK will automatically split the invoice. You can enter a claim reference that was provided by the warranty company. And then the checkboxes can be clicked to add the VAT and net amounts to the warranty provider's invoice. It's also possible to enter an optional excess or customer contribution if required. When you're happy with the settings, click the invoice button. The customer's invoice number will be visible. Clicking the link will display it. The invoice contains various pieces of information, including the claim ref and the warranty provider's invoice number. No prices are shown on the invoice, but a fully itemised invoice will be generated for the warranty provider. Thank you for watching. Please visit www.autowork.online for more information.